starting off in my favorite part of the park, which is also the center part of the park. It's the mysterious island, which is where the giant volcano is. And Andrew's also gonna ask about 20,000 leagues today. Now these little golden statues, they're littered throughout the park for the 35th anniversary. Just like we had all the giant finals for the 50th at Disneyland, these ones are everywhere throughout both parks. This is the Volcania restaurant. So the story about this place is that the fumes from the volcano, it's so hot that they harness the power and put it into all the food here. It's a very Chinese themed menu, no breakfast, definitely lunch, dinner. It actually looks really good though, and everything here comes in sets. So it's like a main, like a side, comes with a drink and usually a dessert. And for Disney, it's always a good dessert, obviously. Andrew, Andrew just got us a time for Journey to the Center of the Earth. Now, they actually still have the paper fast passes here still. There's another one. Oh, this one's cute. It's the diver one. This is the Nautilus Galley. This is the fast food option over here, basically. It's counter service. It has a really cool Halloween feature, though. It's got a giant gyoza bun, and it's a Queen of Hearts themed. They always have something cool like this, like a giant gyoza of some sort. This one just happens to be a lot prettier than the regular. Nautilus gift shop where there's really no Nautilus gift. Now instead of walking this way over the island, we're gonna go through the mountain where the volcano is. Check them out. So this is the journey to the center of the earth ride. Now we're walking through Explorer's Fortress, which we were literally just saying it should have been Prince Eric's castle because Ariel's castle is right on the other side. It's just divided by this island, which must be the reason why they didn't do that. There's like this Italian feel to it, I guess. So this is Magellan's, which is supposed to be the best restaurant here in the park. Okay, yeah, you can't beat these views here at this park. Yeah, look at the Tower of Terror in the back. Sorry, High Tower Hotel. That is not the Tower of Terror. It's a completely different ride. Actually, I'd say Tower of Terror ride is Florida. You gotta go to Florida for Tower of Terror. This is High Tower Hotel. It is different. They had just started. We were literally ran right down to the platform down here and had a perfect view of all of the fireworks over at Disneyland. <laughs> you gotta get really good at weaving for people here. That's the ship I was talking about. That's the Columbia. That's where we'd like to have dinner. American Waterfront, they do lots of live shows because it's Broadway theme, Broadway style. of Duffy merch. Duffy and all his friends, Shally Mae, Gelatoni, and the other one I can never remember the name. Stella Lou. Stella Lou, which is the bunny with the giant ears. See, it's not the Hollywood Hotel, it's the Hotel Hightower. 
So over here, that's where you'd find Toy Story Mania. But we're not even going to that side of the park because it's the same exact ride as the ones in Florida and California. This is where you'd get a fast pass for Tower of Terror. It's Clarice in a different outfit. Oh, she's so cute. And as we make our way around here to the American waterfront, this is the sailing ship Columbia, which is, I think, designed after Queen Mary, correct? Yes. Yes. This is also where you do turtle talk with a crush, but the main point for it is the restaurant. This is the rest of the American waterfront, and then if you go up that bridge over there, it goes to the little, what looks like the New England, Lake New England, and it's got like a little lighthouse and stuff, but we're not gonna go there because we're gonna go on a ride. But before we do, this is the cart where you get the pomegranate beer. It is one of the best cocktails in the park, and everybody is constantly walking around with it. Like, we needed to find it. And here you go. We are in full villain's garb today. He's got... This is the Halloween merch. And I'm still white. I go figure. Oh yeah, it's all branded on the back, it's really cool. And that takes you uh, to Ariel's Kingdom, which is Mermaid Lagoon. That's where we're heading, is the Arabian coast. We're going to the opposite section though, the back side. And I've been calling this Agrabah, but it's actually the Arabian Coast. This is where it starts. Yes, this is one of the world's only two-story carousels over here. cool little photo spots just everywhere and there's never characters there's usually like a little line if people want to take a picture with them especially here in the Arabian section it's like all themed Stitch meet and greet, which is, I believe, the only one except for Disneyland Paris. They don't. Now, this is the other side of the Arabian coast. That's the Lost River Delta. If you keep going that way, where Indiana Jones is. And then this massive building right here is Sinbad. Sinbad's Storybook of Voyage. It's actually really cool. It's super crazy. It's, I want to say like a way better version of Small World. 